G'day everyone, Sam here from Farm Lab. Uh, today we're going to go over a, a new feature, which is uh, actually a, an incredibly useful feature for people looking at setting up farms and uh, automatically excluding areas that have tree cover. So really simple to use. I've started with the cadastral boundary for a farm. Uh, for some of our clients who are developing soil carbon projects, um, you know, this is a great example of how to go from a cadastral boundary to a carbon estimation area in pretty much uh, two or three simple steps. So we start here with the area and you can click on the area itself. Now, if we stratify the boundaries uh, and we identify, let's say, three boundaries in this case, we can now stratify based on tree cover. So we've now incorporated a 2020 tree cover index for all of Australia, which will allow our users to uh, stratify um, as well as bring in the tree cover uh, index so they can see what, what, tree, what tree cover exists across their properties. So if we select the tree cover uh, metric in this case, uh, three strata, and we hit start, and go and proceed with that. Now, uh, we'll stratify the area based on tree cover, which we can then use to automatically exclude and create exclusion areas. So, we'll see that in just a second after that's finished processing. And there we go. Now, so we can select our farm strata now. We can see there's three strata. Uh, we've got uh, the yellow one, which is no tree cover, uh, pink, which is full tree cover, and three, which is kind of interim in between. And we can zoom in slightly to this uh, strata here, hit clear, and you can see quite clearly on the base map that, yep, we've got quite a bit of tree cover there. Now, to exclude these tree cover areas, simply select the strata. I'll right, zoom out again a little bit and use the make boundaries from strata tool so this will generate three those three different boundaries um, which are strata one strata two and strata three you know quite clearly over the top of this and um, if we were to create let's say we wanted to create a carbon estimation area excluding those uh that tr those tree covered areas uh, we simply delete strata two and strata three which are the areas with tree cover and we're left with strata one which we can now rename to carbon estimation area the CEA one and let's call that a carbon estimation area give that a peak biomass month and save it and there we go and that's how you quickly and rapidly exclude tree cover